I knew something was up. Like, she was just acting different. I was like, you're being, like, strange, you know? And so, <laughs> I, I, I was just, didn't think anything of it. And she just, I don't know how she did it, but she brings this bag out. And I look in there, and, like, there's all I see is the onesie at first, and it says daddy. And I was like, I was like, what? Like, didn't even process in my mind for a second. And then, obviously, we just, like, just lost it. We were so excited. Um, it was just such a up and down week, you know, with uh, a lot of times football can dictate moods and how things are going in life. But uh, at that moment, you know, nothing else mattered. And it was it was the best feeling. So um, that was cool. And we knew nothing about it. I had sisters. It's just so wild when you get to go through it the first time. And you're learning all these things, but we're going to doctor's appointments. And then you're telling close people and everyone's like, don't tell anyone until you're safe until the 12 weeks, right? So there's just like this big, heavy 12 week milestone that you're just praying to get to, right? Um, and then we get to it and all the fun stuff really starts happening. I was excited. Um, we had just had in our wedding, a lot of my bro- a lot of my groomsmen were all having kids. And so there was one of them had just had a girl, my other buddy just had a girl, we were just in my buddy's wedding two weeks before our wedding. He had just he were they were pregnant with their daughter, and then we had a, we were having a daughter, and so it was just like perfect, like right, like all the Alabama guys are having daughters. Of course, the Colts O linemen are having daughters, and um, that's we were just so excited. So you're riding that high, um, and the secret's out. Um, you know, you start doing all these fun things. You go to dinner and you're like, let's stop and bye-bye, baby. Like, yeah. let's try out strollers. Let's look at car seats. Let's like, Ryan, look at this girly onesie with like a tutu. We need it. We need all the headbands. You know, like these things start coming to life. And um, like he said, now we know who she is. So you start picturing like what she's going to look. Is she going to look like you? Is she going to look like me? I hope she looks like me. I guess... There's no point in your mind at that point, um, certainly not what we would be about to face. So it's just all the joys of doing this, especially it's so heightened because it's your first. I could tell something was off. I had told him, I was like, I'm not feeling her movements. Um, You know, like I just feel weird. Like all of these symptoms I've had my whole pregnancy. um, I just, you know, like I don't really feel them, but I just had this, feeling. I got in the car and I drove to the hospital. The doctor came in um, and she did the ultrasound and, you know, she just looks at you and she just, um, all she said is, I'm so sorry, there's no heartbeat. She's like, you do have to deliver her. Um, You're too far along. Your daughter's there. Um, So, you know, and and then she's like, do you want to, do you want to, hold her and you or you'll have the chance to hold her and you know and at that moment honestly at that moment everyone's saying these things to you and you can't even process that your baby's gone 24 hours ago you're at the table talking about what color you're going to paint the nursery and then you're talking about where you're going to bury her um literally everything changes in those 24 hours Not many people get married and lose their child in the first year of their marriage. But if I could give anyone advice, it would be don't ignore um, your gut. These stories, so many of these brave men and women sharing their stories, you hear so many of them that could have been preventable. These women have come up with this app that help you track your baby's movements. Oh my gosh, you know, like it's, it's such a simple concept, but it's genius and it's so needed like the impacts are profound every kid counts and they do for us too it's like we went in at 17 and a half weeks they were bragging of you know that her heartbeat's so strong she's so healthy and one week later she's not and so um anything we can do to encourage people to download this app and do this work um so that people aren't sitting on this side of the fence you know and getting to bring their baby home is um, just enough for us. Absolutely. We're simply the, the carriers of the message. Um, we're so passionate about this, about 
uh, pregnancy and, and babies and um, just overall health. And I think that this, they do such an incredible job of pushing this and it's such an awesome resource, 16 different languages um, for anybody in the country and in the world. And I think it's just awesome. And um, we just hope that, you know, everybody can be happy and healthy. Anyone can use it. Healthcare providers, doulas use it often in conversations with expectant parents. And so the app is totally free for expectant parents to use to get to know what's normal for their baby as far as their movement is concerned, get to know the strength of their baby's movements and rate it each day during the third trimester and get to know what's normal. So if normal changes, we empower you to speak up and call your doctor and let them know that something has changed. There are circumstances where a baby really can be in jeopardy. Um, and those are the times that we really need women to say, okay, this isn't quite right. I'm gonna go with my intuition. Um, the kicks that I counted, I know exactly what I counted the day before and the day before that and the day before that. Um, and this really is different. That's why Count the Kicks is so important. It is an early red flag. It is an early warning system that something may be off in pregnancy and your doctor needs to investigate. I love to hear the stories about uh, people who downloaded the app and counted and didn't seem quite right and they weren't getting the kicks they were expecting to get and they contacted their doctor um, and they ended up having a healthy baby. It changed my life. It saved my son. And when something saves your son, you want to do all you can to help other families have that same kind of positive outcome. Every family deserves this information to help get their baby here safely in the third trimester. And hopefully they never need to use it. Hopefully nothing ever changes in their baby's movements. But for those families and those babies, when their baby's movements change, they have a tool, they have a free tool, they have a way to bond with their baby, um, and it's a way to help get babies here safely.